In a truly unique moment in human history, we find ourselves faced with a phenomenon that challenges our traditional understanding of time, a building that ruled civilizations, cultures, and the daily organization of our lives. We're on the verge of a possible redefinition of how we measure the seconds, minutes, and hours that shape our existence. This extraordinary situation in history may compel us to make adjustments to our clocks in a manner that has never been necessary before, by subtracting one second from time, a phenomenon that is being referred to as a negative leap second for the first time ever. The concept of time has always been a cornerstone of human society, marking the passage of days and seasons, allowing us to plan for the future and reflect on the past. But now, facing a reality where even the rotation of the Earth is changing, things also need to change. Recent studies indicate that the Earth is rotating more rapidly than in any other period in our recorded history, a discovery that may have substantial consequences for our time management strategies. The concept of adding a leap second to our clocks is not new. Since the implementation of atomic clocks as the standard for measuring time over 50 years ago, we have periodically needed to modify our timepieces to synchronize the astronomical time, which is based on the rotation of the Earth, with the exceptionally accurate atomic time, despite being detached from celestial motions. These adjustments were made by adding an additional second, a leap second, to compensate for the gradual deceleration of Earth's rotation, which is a result of the intricate gravitational interactions with the Moon. However, what we are facing at the moment is an unprecedented perspective, the possibility of having to do the opposite, to eliminate a second from our clocks in order to account for an acceleration in the Earth's rotation. Experts indicate that if it weren't for the rapid melting of the poles, this adjustment would be necessary sooner than expected, possibly as early as 2026. This unexpected increase in speed was partly concealed by the displacement of mass caused by melting at the poles, which is a complex interaction that causes the Earth's rotation to decelerate in a manner similar to the observed effect when ice skaters extend their arms. The melting of the polar regions and the redistribution of landmass are just one piece of the puzzle. The liquid core of the Earth, a big ball of melted fluid, as described by one of the researchers, plays its own role in this phenomenon. The movement and flows within the core of the Earth can have a significant impact on the rotation of our planet in ways that are difficult to predict, thereby contributing to both the observed deceleration and acceleration over the course of several decades. This situation presents challenges not only from a scientific standpoint, but also from technical and political perspectives. The act of inserting leap seconds has consistently been a complex and delicate undertaking, with far-reaching implications for various areas such as satellite navigation and internet infrastructure. The inclusion of these seconds is manageable, although not without its own problems, as was demonstrated in the year 2012, when multiple technology platforms encountered difficulties due to the addition of an extra leap second to their timekeeping systems. Subtracting one second, however, is a whole new ballgame with potentially more complicated implications for systems that rely on precise time synchronization. The ongoing debate about how to effectively manage this temporal discrepancy reflects not only the inherent complexities of measuring time in a highly technological world, but also the intricate and interdependent relationships between science, technology, and society as a whole. As we make our way towards this potential change, we find ourselves compelled to confront not only the ever-changing nature of our planet, but also the ways in which we organize, measure, and assign value to time in our lives. This ongoing process forces us to reassess our perspectives and adapt to the dynamic world we inhabit. Is it truly an intriguing topic? I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments. If you enjoy the content, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you in our next video.